In this video, we solve the four numericals of gas turbine power plant. Compared to the last three numericals, these numericals are different because last three numericals are based on the idle cycles. These numericals are based on the actual cycle because in these numericals, compressor efficiency is given, turbine efficiency is given, combustion chamber efficiency is given. Okay. We need to find out some additional data compared to the last three numericals. So, first data is mass of air divided by mass of fuels and the SFC means specific fuel consumption. Okay, so these are the additional data that we find out in this numerical. So first we understand the problem statement. A gas turbine unit has pressure ratio of 6 means P2 upon P1 is given. So it is called the pressure ratio is equal to 6. Maximum cycle temperature is 900 degree centigrade. Maximum cycle temperature means maximum temperature in a gas turbine power plant. So it is the T3 is given. So T3 is equal to 900 degree centigrade. The isentropic efficiency of the compressor and turbine are 85 percentage and 90 percentage respectively. Means 85 is the compressor efficiency, 90 percentage is the turbine efficiency. Air enters the compressor at 15 degree centigrade means T1 is given at the rate of 5 kg per second means this is the mass of air is given okay so air enters the compressor at 15 degree centigrade at the rate of 5 kg per second so this is the mass of air is given that is a 5 kg per second calorific value of a fuel use is 43000 kilojoule per kg means CV is given. CV is equal to 43,000 kilojoule per kg. Combustion efficiency is 95 percentage means efficiency of combustion chamber is given. We need to consider few parameters. CP of air is equal to 1 kilojoule per kg Kelvin. Specific heat for a gas is equal to 1.07 kilojoule per kg Kelvin and gamma is equal to 1.4 for the air and gases means this cp is given for air this cp is given for the gas and the gamma is equal to 1.4 air and gas we need to find out air fuel ratio second power output thermal efficiency and the specific fuel consumption so here we write down this given data and we need to also draw this ts diagrams okay so here you see this ts diagram is changed okay so this 1 to 2 dash is indicate the isentropic process and this 1 to 2 is indicate the actual process okay so in a different book the different notation is given in a sum book for the isentropic process means for this straight line 1 to 2 is used and for this actual process 1 to 2 dash is used okay so here i write down this given data first is the p2 upon p1 is given this is the 6 this is a t3 is given 900 degree centigrade so we convert in a kelvin so 900 plus 273 the isentropic efficiency of the compressor that is a 0.85 means 80 percentage turbine efficiency is the 0.90 this is the t1 is given 15 degree centigrade plus 273 so we get answer 288 kelvin mass of air that is a denoted as the ma is equal to 5 kg per second cv is equal to 43000 kilojoule per kg combustion chamber efficiency 0.95 and these are the other additional data now what to find out air fuel ratio means ratio of air and fuel means mass of air divided by mass of fuels second we need to find out power output means we need to find out network third one we need to find out thermal efficiency and the last one is the specific fuel consumption in short it is written as the sfc okay now we see what are the equations required to find out this parameter okay so first parameter we need to find out air fuel ratio so air fuel ratio is find out by using these equations okay so air is supply in a compressor fuel is supplied in a combustion chamber okay so we need to supply the energy balance in a combustion chamber means heat supply by fluid and the heat taken by the burn gases okay so heat supply by the fuel is the mf into cv into combustion chamber efficiency heat taken by burn gases okay so it is the ma plus mf into cpg t3 minus ma cpa t2 means this is the output of the combustion chambers okay so what is the mass output from the combustion chamber that is the mass of air plus mass of fuels okay and the cpg because it is a gas is output and the temperature is t3 
minus this is the input of the combustion chamber that is the mass of air because in a combustion chamber air is enter that's why here we consider cpa because the specific heat of the air is considered and temperature of the air is t2 okay so in this equation we put the various value okay so here you see there is a t3 is there but t3 is not okay t3 is given t2 is there t2 is not given so first we need to find out t2 and t4 means any numerical is asked in examination for the gas turbine power plant first you need to find out t2 and t4 okay next we need to find out power output p so it is a turbine work minus compressor work third we need to find out thermal efficiency so it is a net work divided by heat supplied and the last one we need to find out specific fuel consumption sfc for the sfc equation is fuel supplied in kilogram per hours divided by power output so first we find out this T2 dash temperatures and the T2 temperatures means for the isentropic compression process. So isentropic compression process is one to two days. Okay, so this is isentropic compression because entropy remains constant. That's why it is called as the isentropic process. Okay, in a some book here they consider the point number two and here they consider the point number two dash. So equation is T2 dash divided by T1 is equal to P2 divided by P1 raised to gamma minus 1 upon gamma. Okay. Suppose you consider here these two point. Okay. So instance of this T2 dash, you can use the T2. Okay. Now we putting these various values. So here P2 upon P1 is given 6. Value of the gamma is 1.4 and the value of the T1 is 288. Okay. So this equation is written like this way. This T1 is supplied on the right side. So it is a 288 into 6. This simplified, then we get the answer 0 0.2857. So T2 dash is equal to 480.52 kelvins. Okay. Now, next we need to calculate the T2 by using this equation of this compressor efficiency. Okay. So equation of the compressor efficiency is equal to isentropic heat drop means this isentropic heat drop is the T2 minus T1 divided by actual process. Actual process is T2 minus T1. Okay. So basic thing is that. Okay. So efficiency is always less than 100 percentage. Okay. Means in a numerators, it is a small land portion is there. Okay. So here we get the two line. Suppose we take this projection of the T2 dash and the T2 on the y axis. Okay. So here we get this T2 dash point. Here we get this T1. Okay. And here we get this. T2. Okay. So smaller land is mentioned in a numerators and the larger land is mentioned in a denominators. That's why we get the efficiency less than 100%. Okay. Because in a turbine that is the opposite process are occurs. Okay. Because this compressor are the work consuming device and this turbine are the work producing device. Okay. That's why this equation of the efficiency are alternate here. This is a isentropic divided by actual process. Okay. So we putting this compressor efficiency, it is a 0.85. T2 dash 480, T1 is given 280, and we need to calculate this T2. Okay, so we get this answer of the T2 514.49. Okay, so here you see we get this answer of the T2 is higher than the T2 dash. Okay, so here you see this point number point T2 is above the T2 dash. Okay, suppose you make the alternate equations, means you putting this actual upon isentropic, then your answer is wrong. Okay. So from this diagram, you can see that our T2 is the higher than this T2 dash. Now, same way we find out the T4 and the T4 dash for the isentropic compression process. So not a, this is not a compression, it is the expansion process. By mistake here, the compression is written for isentropic expansion process. That is a 3 to 4 dash. First, we find out this T4 dash temperature that is a T3 upon T4 is equal to P3 upon P4 is to gamma minus 1 upon gamma. Okay. So T3 is given. So we need to find out T4 dash. So T4 dash is equal to T3 divided by RP raised to gamma minus 1 upon gamma. Okay. So this portion is supplied left side. So it is going to denominators. This T4 dash is supplied on the right sides. Okay. So value of the T3 is 1173 value of p3 upon p4 means it is the compression ratio so it is a 6 and this is a 1.4 minus 1 divided by 1.4 we get the answer 0 0.2857 so t4 dash is equal to 703.04 kelvin now next we find out this t4 for that we need to use the equation of the turbine efficiency okay 
So equation of the turbine efficiency is the actual process divided by isentropic. Okay, in a compressor, what we use it is the isentropic divided by actual. Here it is the opposite is going on actual divided by isentropic. Okay, so if you are, are not able to remember the isentropic upon actual, actual upon isentropic, then the simple logical thing is on the basis of the length of the lines. Okay, so here you see this is a actual line means three and four are the sorters. Okay, so in a numerators we mention t three minus t four. And this T3 minus T4 dash is the longest line, so we mention in a denominator. Okay, then we get the efficiency is less than 100 percent. Now we putting these various value. So turbine efficiency is 0.9, T3 is equal to 1173 minus T4. So we need to find out T4 value of the T3 1173 and the value of T4 dash is 703.04. Now we find out this t4 t4 is equal to 750.04 kelvin now here you see in this graph the four point is above the t4 dash that means the value of t4 is higher than the t4 dash okay so now we find out this other parameters that is the air fuel ratio air fuel ratio means ma upon mf for that we need to apply the heat balance in a combustion chamber heat balance means we are balancing the input and the output okay so heat supply by the fuel is equal to heat taken by the burn gases so heat supply by the fuel is the we supply some quantity of the fuel so it is denoted as the mf fuel have some calorific value so it is a cv and the combustion chamber have certain efficiency so it is denoted as the efficiency c heat taken by the burn gases okay so these are equation is considered that i already explained at the starting of this numerical then after we take the mf common from the both the sides okay so when we take the mf from the both the side this mf and mf is cancel okay so on the left side only remaining portion is cv into combustion chamber efficiency okay so when we take this mf common from this parts okay so here we need to divide by the mf here we also need to divide by the mf okay so it is a ma divided by mf plus 1 cpg t3 minus from this portion there is a no mf is there and we take the common mf okay so it is ma divided by mf into cpa into t2 then after we putting this value of cv that is a 48000 combustion chamber efficiency is the 0.95 okay and here we need to find out ma upon mf okay so we are not able to put this value here we put the value of CPG, it is 1.07, value of T3, 1173, minus MA upon MF, value of CPA, that is the 1, into value of T2, that we find out here, that is of value of T2 is 514.49 Kelvin. Okay, now we do the multiplications of the few parameters here, 43,000 into 0 0.95, we get the answer, 40,850. Here we do this multiplication of this point. Now here we multiplied 1.07 into 1173. We get the answer 1255.11. Okay, this bracket is as it is. In this side, that is a minus 1 into 514.49. So it is a 514.49. This bracket is as it is. Then after we open this bracket. Okay, so first. This 1255.11 is multiplied with this MA divided by MF. Then they are multiplied with this one. So here we return 1255.11. Here there is a no need to open these brackets. Okay. Then after we supply this 1255.11 on the left side. So it is going a subtractions. Okay. And here we do the subtraction of these two value. Okay. So we get these equations. Okay. And then after we get the final answer, mass of air divided by mass of fuel is equal to 53.462. So it is called as the air fuel ratio. So this is our answer. Now before moving ahead, I request to like the video and subscribe my channels for watching the more video related to power plant engineering and other subjects of this mechanical engineering. For power plant engineering, various link is provided in descriptions as well as in car. For other subject, I request to visit the playlist now we find out this power output it is denoted as the p or a network so network is denoted as the w net so both these things are the same so network or a power output is equal to turbine work minus 
compressor works okay so first we need to find out turbine work so turbine work is find out by using these equations okay that is a mass of air plus mass of fuels into cpg in bracket t3 minus t4 compressor work is find out by using this equation ma into cpa in bracket t2 minus t1 now we take the ma common okay that is a ma in bracket 1 plus mf divided by ma into cpg in bracket t3 minus t4 this portion is as it is okay then after we putting this value of mass of air that is a 5 okay and this is a 1 plus mf divided by ma okay and here we have the value of ma upon mf okay so we can return in a reciprocal form so it is a 1 upon 53.462 into value of cpg it is a 1.07 then after we putting this various value of the temperatures ma and the cpa then after we simplified in a calculators and we get this answer of the power output that is a 1172.71 kilowatt now next we find out the thermal efficiency so thermal efficiency is the network divided by heat supply okay so first we need to calculate the heat supplied in a combustion chamber that is a q is equal to mass of fuel into cv so mass of fuel that is a mf so mf is not directly given or we are not calculate the mf okay so what we do we divide and multiply this equation by the ma so it is a ma into mf divided by ma into cv okay so value of ma is there that is a 5 and the value of mf divided by ma is 1 upon 53.462 because here this is a value of ma upon mf okay so it is the reciprocal of it into value of cv that is a 43000 now we calculate in the calculators and we get this answer of the heat supply that is a 4021.55 kilojoule per seconds so thermal efficiency is equal to network divided by q so network we already find out that is a 1172.71 divided by this q so q is the 4021.55 then we get this answer of the thermal efficiency it is a 29.16 percentage now we find out this last parameter that is a specific fuel consumption sfc so sfc is equal to fuel supply in kg per hours divided by power output okay so fuel supplied in kg per hour means that is a mf okay into 3600 okay so there is a value of mf in kg per second okay so we need to multiply it with 3600 then we get this answer in kg per hours so here we again multiply this mf with the ma and divided by ma okay so we have the value of ma that is a 5 value of mf divided by ma is 1 upon 53.462 okay so we putting this value and the network means the power is equal to 1172.71 we simplified it and then we get this answer of the specific fuel consumption is 0 0.2871 kilogram per kilowatt hours okay so here we find out all the parameters of our numericals so thank you for watching this video if you learned something then like the video subscribe my channels and don't forget to share with your friends